What's going on, people? It's the superhero of YouTube, your boy Jay. And this is my little video talking about the sports commentator's March Madness. I made it. Yep. All the way to the final four. Who would have thought I would have made it this far? When I first entered this competition, I don't know. I was I really didn't know what to expect. But I do know what I wanted. And what I wanted from the sports commentator's March Madness I wanted to grow as a commentator, and I have, and I greatly appreciate all of the feedback, good and bad, because without that, I wouldn't have been able to grow, in my opinion, like I have grown over the past couple of weeks in a sports commentator's March Madness. So before I get into talking about the competition overall, I would like to touch on something that Wiser said in a live stream. And I know before you all go off and say, oh, well, Jay is probably mad at Wiser. Completely opposite. See, the thing is that me and Wiser, we are cool. And to have someone that you're cool with tell you to completely, to tell you the truth and to be honest with you, that's, that's really respectable. Because a lot of times whenever you're cool with people, they normally don't tell you the truth. They're not being like yes men to agree with everything that you're saying. Like, oh man, your video is awesome. I love your video. I'm going to vote for you or want you to move on because we're cool. No, he came out and actually told the honesty, his, his true feelings of how he felt about my video and about me moving on. And I totally respect that. And I respect it even more because we're cool. And he actually said, you know what? I'm going to say this. So I respect Wiser now for saying that. So do I hold anything against him for saying that? Not at all. I completely opposite. I totally respect him as a man for actually saying that. So um, I greatly appreciate the feedback wise anyway. I do appreciate that. Oh yeah, and Shannon Sharp is better than Mackie. So anyway, uh, the next thing I want to touch on is how I made it to the final four. That question came up and I'm not even going to sit here, people, and try to act like I am some guru, like I was just the man and smoked my competition. I've had some tough matchups, but I was able to move on due to the fact that I kind of made changes based on what the judges have said. If you go back and watch every judging um, live stream after I posted my video for that round, they always talked about what I did different from the last video. Now, I'm completely, I think I'm one of the few people in the competition that is using this to grow as a commentator. A lot of people are using this to, to showcase their talents. On a talent side, as far as being a commentator, I'm not going to say I'm the greatest. I have my box that I stay in, and I'm, I normally don't branch out of it that much. So basically, this whole sports commentator's March Madness was used as a tool to kind of help me get better and to see what other people are doing and maybe adjust my style of commentating. So if you go back and watch all of the other live streams, they're going to say, well, Jay Skill, he did change this from last round. The next time you see me post a video, then you look at the next live stream, they're going to say, Jay Skill overall had a decent video and he did make this change. From the previous round that's all i did not rocket science i didn't go out there add extra people to my videos i didn't go out there and do some crazy editing all i did was simple stuff was change from what they said i was doing wrong i took their feedback their criticism constructive criticism and changed my video that's all i did so you know maybe it is a formula for people to use for the next sports commentators march madness um so that's how I basically made it. That's how Jay Skill made it to the Final Four. I made it to the Final Four not by being the most creative person. I made it to the Final Four because I grew as a commentator. And that's what this competition about. It's more than about... Um, it's about a whole bunch of different things. It's about people showcasing their talents, how good they are. It's about people like me being able to grow as a commentator and it's about certain other people like I would say Bruce Ree he's a great commentator it's about people like him also being able to grow his channel because he's already at that point where his commentary and his style is on point and it's about people like me who kinda have subscribers 
but really don't have a structure when it comes to putting out a high quality video. So that's what the sports commentators March Madness means to me. Um, what else I would like to touch on is, is that, again, overall, I'm having a blast. And I, I don't know, I'm just completely having so much fun doing this. Again, when I first, my, I would say, I wouldn't say every round I was lucky. I would say that every person I went up against were tough. And I went up against some different types of people. The first round guy, I would say he was more on the the um, the the rough street style. He was more that rough type commentary that would just give you a commentary just straight hardcore by the Paris. The next round, which was um, D Man Unit, he was more of that creative type, uh, solid commentary guy. Um, I felt that maybe he held back a little bit, to be honest with you. So I would say maybe that round, I might have lucked up due to the fact that maybe, I wouldn't say he underestimated me, but maybe he was saving some of, more of his creativity for the next round because you have to think about it. You have to come up with videos. If you make it all the way to the final round, that's what, five, six videos. So. I respect him for the video that he put up and I and I don't I wouldn't say he actually held back but I would say that um, I don't think that was D man units best work so I'm not even gonna sit here like yeah I beat D man and what nope um, because I know D man unit can put out better stuff uh, has a whole lot more in the gas tank than that and the next person I went up against was a highly educated commentator if you if Say what you want to say about Moonlight Swami's uh, style of commentating, but this guy, his knowledge on videos, um, I mean, his knowledge on sports is crazy. And I always told him that, um, what is that? Else? I always told him that you're going to be like one of those sports commentators, like one of those guys on ESPN or ESPN Radio. Just he has that voice, he has that knowledge, and um, I respect him as a commentator for that. And the last person I went up against was a guy that actually went out of the box. He went out of the box and tried to change things up. And I respect him for that too. I mean, he took a big risk and he made wrestling, um, which a lot of people don't consider a sport, but he made wrestling very entertaining. And the last person I think really did it that was actually good at it was um, Shakedown in the first round. So Overall, the people who I went up against, again, great people, and uh, I highly respect the work that they put out, and I respect them as a commentator. And some people might call it luck, might call it destiny. I don't know what to call it. I'm still shocked that I made it this far. But again, I'm growing, people. You gotta re at least respect that. But um, for those of you that have been Rolling with me since day one, man, I greatly appreciate it. All of you new subscribers that, you know, came to my channel, um, I greatly appreciate all of the support. I'm a real humble guy. I don't take nothing for granted. Whether it's 50 views or one subscriber, I take nothing for granted. And I greatly appreciate all the support, people. Anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. Shout out to everybody in the Sports Commentators March Madness. Shout out to the judges for allowing me to enter this competition. And that's basically it. So anyway, people, until the next video, it's your boy Jay, and I am is out.